Prices Month for the Randolph County Farm Bureau Ag in the Classroom Program. Today we're here at the Linker Dairy Farm in St. Lombori, Illinois. So, let's start the tour. So I'm here with Mr. Wayne Linker, and he's going to tell us about um, their operation here. I'm Wayne Linker, and uh, I farm here with my son, with three cousins. We milk about 350 cows here. Um, we raise everything, calves, heifers, and cows. Um, we use a flush barn, we've got a double 15 you know, barn with about 30 cows at a time. Once the cow is done being milked, the milk travels to the basement under the parlor. This allows someone to come down and test samples of each cow's milk. They can check and make sure a cow is healthy and see what percentage of her fat is better fat, which is a higher quality. Then the milk travels to the tank where it is stored on the farm. Every day, a semi-truck comes to the farm and empties the tank. This farm's milk travels southeast to Kentucky, Tennessee, or Mississippi to be sold as fluid milk, mostly in schools. Sometimes it will travel to Granite City outside of St. Louis and be made into ice cream. Milking only takes about 10 minutes of the cow's day. When they are done, they walk back to their barn and can relax, eat, drink, and just hang out. see the cows that are about to have calves so they're kept here separately so that if they need any help with the calving process um, they can get that and they're monitored more frequently than the other cows might be. Alright so here the cows have just gotten some fresh sand in their beds kind of like what we talked about at the other dairy farm that sand is just more comfortable for them to sleep on and stay on and it's also easier to keep clean than other uh, bedding materials. Here, this is going to get all flushed out um, in a little bit, and so this will all be cleaned up for them whenever they come back. Okay, so as you can see here, here's their feed right in front of them, so they can stick their heads through here and they can eat their feed. This is called silage. And, um, here you've got a little lever that they can pull up and whenever they stick their heads through, it holds their head when you pull this up and they can give them vaccination, they can use in heat, all kinds of different things to make sure the cows stay healthy. Um, they can do easily right along here by doing that. right in here so they can eat up like that. Whenever they are big enough, then they'll go over to the group pen and they'll stay all together. Let her milk down, and we spray iodine 
dip underneath that loom on each corner to sanitize each one of the teats. And we'll go through when each cow gets an individual towel to not spread germs and bacteria. Wipe each teat one time with one side of the towel and flip over to the clean side and clean up the teat end to make sure that it's all the way clean. Now we hook on the milking unit and she starts milking. That's her milk time. Thank you. 